Hello, how to solve this equation? This is x times x times x plus x equals 10. Solving for the value of x that satisfies this equation. So, I can multiply this out. x times x, x power 2 times x. This is x power 3 plus x equals 10. So, from here, I can split this n into two parts. I have 8 and I have 2. 8 plus 2 is 10. Now, there is power 3 here. So, I can express this 8 here as 2 to the power of 3. That is 2 times 2 times 2, which is 8. And I leave this this way because this is to the power of 1. Well, this is to the power of 3. That is why I'm expressing it as 2 power 3. That means the equation becomes x power 3 plus x equals 10 is 8 plus 2. That means we have x power 3 plus x equals 8 is 2 power 3 plus 2. Right? So from here, we move this over and also we move this over. We have x power 3 plus x. This becomes minus 2 power 3. This becomes minus 2 equals 0. Right now, power 3, power 3, we group them together, that is x power 3, minus 2 power 3, plus x minus 2 equals 0. So right now, I can expand this. For instance, if you have a power 3 minus b power 3, this equals a minus b times a squared plus a b plus b power 2 and our a is x and b is 2 so right now this is what we are going to apply here this entity we apply it here that means we have x minus 2 times x squared plus x times 2 plus 2 power 2 then we have plus x minus 2 equals 0. So from here, I will have x minus 2 times x squared plus 2x plus 4. And this is plus x minus 2 equals 0. So right now, there is x minus 2, there is x minus 2. I can factor that out. Of x minus 2 times this device x minus 2, I have x squared plus 2x plus 4. Then we have plus this device x minus 2 again. We have 1, and this equals 0. So, we simply have x minus 2 times x squared plus 2x plus 5 equals 0. We equate each of these to 0. I have x minus 2 equals 0. I have x squared plus 2x plus 5 equals 0. So, if x minus 2 equals 0, that means x equals 2. This is my x1. This can be solved using formula method. So, let's write a formula. That's a quadratic equation. So this is the quadratic formula and f a equals 1, which is the equation of x squared, b equals 2, and c equals 5. So, I'll applying that here, as in inserting these values for a, b, and c here. We have x equals negative 3 times negative 2. 
plus or minus square root of p squared plus the power 2 minus 4 times a times c that is 5. Divided by 2 times a that is 2 times 1. So from here, you have x equals negative 2 plus or minus square root of this is 4 minus 20 divided by 2. So from here, you have x equals negative 2 plus or minus 4 minus 20, that is negative 60. Divided by 2, I can factor out this. That means I can have x equals negative 2 plus or minus square root of negative 1 times square root of 16. Divided by 2. Imagine number i. So I can have x equals negative 2 plus or minus i times square root of 16 divided by 2. From here, I have x equals negative 2 plus or minus i times square root of 16. Here is 4. This is divided by 2. This cancel is up 1, 2, and 1. Of x equals negative from plus or minus i times 2. So we have two complex values for x. x1 equals negative 1 plus i times 2. Of x2 equals negative 1 minus i times 2. So these are the two complex values for x. And we have one real value for x, which is x equals 1, eight, uh, sorry, x equals 2. So, next step will be to verify by inserting these values for x. We have x equals 2. So, x times x times x plus x equals 10. And x equals 2, we have 2 times 2 times 2 plus 2 equals 10. 2 times 2 for 4 times 2, this is 8 plus 2 equals 10. And from here, 8 plus 2 is 10 equals 10. So guys, the real solution has proven to be correct and this is what we can actually do right now. I believe you enjoyed this. Don't forget to subscribe and like. Continue to support me. Thank you and goodbye.